Our society continues to consume a vast amount of energy and emit a considerable share of CO2. CO2, a greenhouse gas, is known to be one of the main contributors to global warming. In 2006, vehicular CO2 emissions amounted to 17% of total global emissions. To reduce CO2 emissions from vehicles, Toyota views hydrogen as a clean source of energy. Hydrogen-fueled cars running on electricity or fuel cell hybrid vehicles are considered to be one of the ultimate eco-cars. A fuel cell is a device that acts as a small power plant, producing electricity through a chemical reaction between hydrogen and oxygen in the air. The only emission from this very clean process is water. Fuel cells are electrodes and polyelectrolyte films sandwiched between separators. This unit as a whole is referred to as a cell. When hundreds of these cells are stacked together into one package, the result is a fuel cell stack, or what is called an FC stack. Toyota, along with its group companies, works to advance the development of a wide range of products, such as passenger, mini and industrial vehicles, motor coaches, and household fuel cell cogeneration systems. Under the banner of developing core technologies in-house, the main components of Toyota FCHVs were created. The Toyota FC stack is a performance leader in fuel cells for vehicles worldwide. Also placing value on hydrogen storage technologies, Toyota has developed high-pressure hydrogen tanks on its own. Improvements in hydrogen storage volume were pursued through the optimization of carbon fiber layers. Toyota started developing FCHVs in 1992 and as a world pioneer introduced them on the market in 2002. In 2005, Toyota obtained type certification, the first for fuel cell vehicles in Japan. In 2008, Toyota introduced the Toyota FCHV ADV with an enhanced fuel cell system on board, a further step towards commercial viability. Toyota applies hybrid technologies proven in its Prius for its FCHVs, achieving improved efficiency by replacing engines with fuel cells. There are, however, many technological issues. One of them is startups in sub-zero temperatures. Toyota has conducted continuous fundamental research on understanding the behavior of water inside the cells to prevent water generated in the cell from freezing and blocking production of electricity. As a result, Toyota has succeeded in developing FCHVs able to start and operate in Arctic temperatures down to 30 degrees Celsius below zero. Over two winters, Toyota has conducted various test runs in Japan and Canada, achieving low temperature performance for the Toyota FCHV ADV, equivalent to that of a gasoline-fueled car. Improved fuel efficiency and increased hydrogen tank capacity have boosted the Toyota FCHV ADV's cruising distance from the 330 kilometers of former FCHV models to 830 kilometers. In September 2007, the Toyota FCHV completed a 560 kilometer test run from Osaka to Tokyo. Toyota's pursuit of improvements in endurance and reliability continues. This testing device examines various usage environments demanded of cars by shaking fuel cells while they are generating electricity or exposing them to fluctuations in temperatures and humidity. Test runs also continue in a variety of locations, one of which covered the whole length of the Alaska Highway, a distance of roughly 3,700 kilometers, in seven days. 
The endurance and reliability of the FCHV ADV has been vastly improved. In addition, Toyota has steadily been addressing and overcoming the many challenges its fuel cell products face for widespread use. In a joint endeavor with Hino Motors, Toyota has developed the FCHV bus, and Japan saw its first fuel cell metropolitan buses begin operating in August 2003. At the Expo 2005 in Aichi Prefecture, eight FCHV buses were used for on-site shuttle transportation between pavilions. Since 2006, three FCHV buses have been operating routes at the Central Japan International Airport and its environs, and transporting passengers between aircrafts and the terminal. Hydrogen, like gasoline, can be obtained at fueling stations. As of 2008, there are 12 hydrogen fueling stations in the Tokyo metropolitan area, Kansai, and Central Japan. How and from what should we make hydrogen? How should we dispose of CO2 emitted through making hydrogen and transporting it? How should we create the fueling station infrastructure? Many more issues like these lie ahead. Toyota will face these challenges in a combined effort with government and the energy industry. When we consider future energy and global environment issues, we realize that the widespread use of the ultimate eco car is needed as soon as possible. The Toyota FCHV is but one of the many solutions Toyota will continue to propose. The day when the ultimate eco cars are available to everyone is just around the corner. Toyota, with its earth conscious efforts, is taking affirmative steps in that direction.